friends welcome to that my channel tech and cookie today we are going to talk about like a sap tm i would like to start with a start point like the how the sap tm will be integrate and what and all the basic embedded point of view basic configuration is required for any integration for a tm okay let me start with the configuration for the integration spro sap reference img so where we do have the integration between majorly it is a order related that is a sales order related and we do have another integration for that is a po related and the third integration it will be the delivery so let's talk about now the integration node right spr what we are in now so go to the transposition management and integration here we do have a logistic integration so what it does actually what it is an internal tm component integration and what is the external tm system integration right so the internal tm component generally we use it when we have the embedded as a tm right what is this embedded embedded is like a we do have the sac sap ecc xx uh, or like a how can i say that all the servers which is the application servers within the s4 itself and same thing like the tv tm component also we are using in the same server that in that case we feel that it is an embedded server okay just expand this internal C a tm component integration so now we have a lot of lot many configurations here right so major configuration for a ecc2 tm is like a first thing is a we need to define control keys for a document integration what is this control key what it does actually this control key we do have 0 1 2 almost like a 49 which our sap has been given us as a default for a external tm system so that is like a if you have the standalone then you have to use the control key from 0 1 to 49 there is no hard rule but it has already been given the control key what this control key will do and we are talking about now majorly with the i that is the internal tm component right so that will start with a 51 to around 70 75 we do have so what this control key does it's just giving an integration between and where you have to integrate with your ecc component to tm generally in this uh, screen you can see there is a lot of integrations are there if you take with the 51 this control key it's saying that it's integrate between the sales order uh, to tm so once you create a sales order then the back end it has to be integrated with the tm that that will be happen in a pride unit right when it is integrated with the sales order in a back end it has to create as an a pride unit so the as for your organization as for your client right so where are you how to be integrate it's integrate between sales order to tm or there is a possibility like you are not integrating anything with the sales uh, to tm but you are integrating with the after delivery has been created All right there is a possibility so if you can see there is a lot of checkbox which is shows that where it is being integrated so 2 tm or po 2 tm outbound delivery or inbound delivery and schedule agreements and uh, po confirmation to tm so at this stage like a majorly we are using this four that is so 2 tm po 2 tm and outbound delivery and inbound delivery so in which cases we use this so 2 tm and outbound delivery is like a when you have the outbound delivery concepts on that is a sales side we use this too 
And the another way around, like where we have a PO2 TM we have and inbound delivery. In that case, like when it is a application for they call as a uh, MM, right? So when it comes to the MM, we use this PO2 TM and the inbound delivery concepts. At this stage, like the PO confirmation to TM, this is not using as of now. Okay. So here we can say, which cases we need to use the which control either you create it your own or it is a standard nothing much different only the thing where you want to integrate that actually it will uh, confirm us so just go back and maintain your control key as of now i have been maintained as a control key is a zero tm and which is integrate between so to tm when i create a sales order it will be integrated with the TM as well. And when I create a outbound delivery, the same FU will be shown as in the delivery level also. Okay. That is the first configuration which we need to do. Then what about the next one? Define logistic integration profile. This define logistic integration profile. This, this is a more into where you want to integrate and what it does we'll see that so i had been created this integration profile so just open that as a detail and here we do have majorly logistic integration profile and the description and there is a more important thing is a freight unit building group what is this freight unit building group what it does right so this freight unit building rule generally it will Tell us like a what and all the strategies we have. Is there any specific document type we are using, or like a based on the some specific rules we are using some uh, separate document types? Is there any split, and what basis we were splitting? So all the things will be maintained in a FUPR level. Okay, this will will see that a uh, little later in this session. Okay, then there is a FU building rule condition. So generally this FU has to be determined based on some conditions. Then you have to maintain the FUBR conditions. Uh, in, a, in a theory, we do have the conditions. So based on that FUBR, you have to define it. Okay. And in that case, there is no right building rule assignment here. Okay. Because you are assigning in the condition level. So according to that system will press this one okay then there is a one more uh, thing like automatic freight unit building. there is a checkbox right so what it does actually automatic freight unit when you create and activate this only when you create a sales order let me create it